Hi guys, welcome back to French Fries by Emily. And today we're going to do the second episode of the French lifestyle series. So you probably thought I was going to leave it at episode 1, but I'm not. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of translating words into French or phrases into French, we're going to teach you um, exactly what it means to be living in France, a detailed guide. So today we're just going to cover three topics as we don't have too much time. And the three topics are clothing in France, the French um, religion and also French culture. So first let's start with clothing in France. So the first thing you need to know is that the most um, important job in France is of uh, running a business. So businessmen or business women. So, so uh, naturally you'll see more business suits in France because many, uh, most of them are businessmen and women. So over there their attire um, is somewhat the same but somewhat different too. So for men, businessmen, uh, they should wear um, dark colored suits, dark colored formal suits. And I'm saying should because you know the French have, um, even though they have the concept of freedom, which I'll be getting to um, a, li a little later, they always stress on rules and first impressions. So if uh, men, businessmen don't wear something that will impress a business client immediately, their job is at a loss. And for business women, uh, well, it's a, it's a bit same, but if they want, uh, over here the women have got an advantage because they have got two options. One, to wear the same business suits as men, like dark colored formal suits, but they can also wear business suits in soft colors, not necessarily, not necessarily dark colors, but they can also wear soft colors. And another thing I'm going to say is that first impressions matter a lot. So in France, you have to, um, to make a good first impression, you have to have um, good accessories, like not that you have to wear so many uh, jewelry, a lot of jewelry and with bits and pieces flying all around, but you have to make yourself presentable. Bad makeup, bad accessories is an absolute no in France. So, and now the next uh, topic which we are coming to is religion. So, uh, France really prides itself upon its freedom of religion or concept of laïcité. And so, you won't see too many religious people around in France. You won't see too many um, people who are worshipping gods or something like that. But if you really want to know, then let me just tell you that Christianity is the largest religion of France. Uh, but most of the people are uh, don't have any religion. Okay, so that's it for this second topic. So the last topic we'll be arriving to in this video is of culture. So culture um, is very rich and varied in France. Uh, a lot like India's, but a little less than India's. Patriotism. Well, um, in France, it's extremely, it's still extremely rich, even if it doesn't match India's culture. And, you know, um, it is called Les Métissages Culturels, which means the French, uh, which refers to the mixing pot of cultures in France. So uh, that's all I could get on French culture. And so as a bonus for you showing up here today, um, but you get the bonus only if you subscribe and like and share this video. So be sure to do that before skipping to the next 10 seconds, which when I'll give the bonus. Okay, ready? I'm giving you a few seconds, just pause this video, but I'll continue. Okay, pause. Yeah, perfect. Now, uh, we'll start. So, the bonus fact is, arriving on dinner is extremely important in France. Arriving for dinner on time, actually. Even if you're 10 minutes late, you have to immediately call the person you're sitting with dinner, uh, and you have to tell them that I'm so sorry I couldn't join. So you see, fr the French people are extremely punctual, okay? So if you ever go to France or a French-speaking country, be sure to arrive on dinner in time. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, subscribe and share. And for now, au revoir!